All right, so if you have Linux already, uh, there's a number of things I'm going to assume about you. First of all, I'm going to assume that you are relatively familiar with the command line, um, that you've at least entered commands before in some way. Uh, two, I'm going to assume that you know what a Linux distro is and you know what one you have. The only way you wouldn't know that is in the outside very edge case where you bought a system from Pop! OS or Dell or somebody who sends you a computer with Linux on it, uh, which is unlikely. Or maybe that you're running it in a VM. If you're running uh, Linux in a VM, you, are, you, you already know how to do this. You probably already come by this. And so this video is more to let you know how I personally have arrived at installing Docker every time in a consistent way that doesn't depend on any particular package manager or any Linux distro or anything like that. Something that I can just do consistently anywhere that I need to install Docker. Um, and so we're going to go into that right now. It's actually pretty easy. Uh, the, the, the first thing, um, oh well, I mean, the, the first thing you should do is to get the script. And you can, there's a lot of ways you can do this. We'll just go into temp and get the script. Actually, let's make a directory for it. We'll make a directory called uh, Docker and CD into Docker into temp. Again, this is all stuff. If you're a Linux user, I assume you know this command line stuff. If you're a Windows or Mac user, please don't panic. Uh, this command line stuff we cover in the boost and you know you don't need to worry about it right now, but this is for the Linux people. So the, 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 the um, uh, you can curl down the file uh, at, uh, uh, let's say, we'll just do link O. It's like get.docker.com. And that will download the file for you. And let's redirect it, which you can just do O. You can say install dash docker. And that will give you a file that, as you can see, is a shell script. Um, I'm doing things that I assume you know how to do, edit files and stuff. Um, so this is a script that you can either, you can read through it. Uh, I want you to take note though of here. Um, so this meant that you can do this. So you go get the file like we did. And now we're going to just run the file. Okay, I'm not going to run it, but you know how to do that. Um, it does say down here after you run it, that the next step is to add yourself to the group. Um, and I'm going to see if I can find that group now. Um, do, 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 do. Wow, this is a new version of the script. That's interesting. I see definitely, definitely a different version of the script from the one I have. I, I wonder, <laughs> let, me, let me just check my other one for a second. Do, do. Uh, this is the one I have, I've saved in my dot files. Oh, it looks the same. Okay. Same thing. Uh, all right. Where is the Docker group? So there is an issue here where they talk to you about there. Okay. So after you install it, 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 it prints this out for you and it suggests you run this command. And it's going to be sudo usermod-ag docker, and then it's going to be your username. So just make sure you do that, and then you won't have to be root to run docker. If, you're not, if you don't do that, you have to do sudo. Hey, Bella. So that's really it. That's really it. It's not that hard. I, I, it was so easy. I, I went ahead and added it to my dot .files, even though I can pull down a new one anytime, uh, because it's just, it's just super easy. Uh, please, I don't, we're not up for a laugh right now, Belna. We're making a video. <laughs> we'll laugh in a second. So, um, so that's it. That's really it. Download it, curl it down, and uh, and you get the file, and then you go ahead and just run it, and then you run the script it tells you to after that to do the one-liner to change the, the to the Docker account, and you're ready to start installing stuff into Docker, including Ubuntu. And I did that in another video. That's all.